Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie, and today I'm doing a bit of a rearrange and reset out in my catering kitchen, my cookie area, um, and some storage. So, my cookie area used to be on the other side of this wall. Um, it was about seven feet, probably by about 12 feet, and I felt really, really boxed in. Um, I've lived with it. I've worked in it for five years and I have accumulated way more stuff as we know. I have my eddy and my dehydrators and my edible printer and I needed space for that. And I need to get all of my cookie, cake, cake pop, all of my dessert type specialty things all in one area out of my pantry because we need to be able to store some other things in the pantry. I'm going to be rearranging that and just getting my kitchen in a better working uh, flow. Y'all know I've told y'all that Michael retired. So he is out here um, full time. He's still alive though. Um, he's trying really hard. Um, anyway, I need it to flow better. So, I've decided to make a few changes. This front room, I didn't really show y'all uh, very much of because it's always been a catch-all. We come in the front door. It's never had a specific purpose. And I wanted this area to have a purpose because you walk in my front door uh, right from my carport. Walk in the front door and this was a drop zone and it collected all kinds of crap, y'all. I got rid of things that I've been holding on to forever and ever and ever and ever. And we took a whole truck bed full of stuff to the dumpster. So, um, I have less clutter to organize, <laughs> but I am turning this front room into my cookie station. And then over there where my cookies were, that is now going to be storage for craft things that I've finished, um, things that I want to go in my house that I'm not quite ready to go in because I'm still working on that. Um, it's also going to be storage for all of my flavored chocolates and things that I make my cake bombs with, my cake pans, basically anything to do really with my decorative stuff, desserts and things like that, and maybe a little bit of overflow. I don't know. Anyway, I started working on this yesterday morning. I was up till 3.30 this morning, got back up at 9, went took care of my mom, and now I'm back at it. So, I'm going to give you a little peek of what my, what I got accomplished from last night, and then I'll show you some progress as we go along. Okay, this is where my cookie station was. See, it's very, very skinny. So, that's four foot, maybe six and a half, seven feet wide. And it was not very roomy. I needed some elbow room, y'all. I really did. So, I pulled down my cookie cutter storage on both sides, my pegboards. And y'all, that was a feat in and of itself. Um, I'll show you what my cookie cutters are in right now until I can get everything put back up. But, those are all gone. My Eddie's still sitting there because I don't want him to bring him in here. But then I've got all of this space all along this wall and this wall for storage. So I've got two more metal shelves that are going to go right here. There's going to hold all my cake pans and bulk items. And then over here is where I'm going to put this counter. I'm going to turn it around and put it over here. And that's where we're going to keep the dehydrators that we use for food, not for cookies. Cookie dehydrators are kept separate. Um, so anyway, and then above it is a bunch of the white melamine shelves. I'll show y'all what that looks like in a bit. I'm going to take my motion sensor light and put it over where my cookie station is now and maybe add another one because it's pretty dark in this front room. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like in the midst of tearing everything down. If y'all can't tell, 
we took out our window units. I've had five air conditioning units in this kitchen in the five years that I've owned this building and they keep going out. So I invested some of my money for my caterings into mini splits and I have three of them. I have one here, one back in the pantry and one in my craft room. Y'all will see that soon, I promise. So it's nice and toasty in here cause it's freaking freezing outside. But, so I've got to cover that up with something. I'll figure it out later and put my trim pieces back up. But anyway, now let me turn. And this is where my cookie station is gonna be. This is a very narrow doorway. There is one of my pegboards and there is the other one. There, my eddy is gonna sit here with my edible printer. They're all gonna be right here readily available for me and all of this stuff is empty right now shelving unit right there it's going to have a lot of the stuff that was on that metal shelf in the other room and all of these bags y'all are full of my cookie cutters and i finally got smart individually bagged each peg so i just pull one bag out put it back up my sprinkles are right here and they're right inside the door, but that's the only thing that would fit here because it's very narrow right there. But that is my sprinkle wall and I love it. They're all together right there. Now let me move this. <clears throat> this is gonna be my new work area. And I have put two stainless steel tables in an L shape right here. This is all gonna change. I've got some shelving to put up there. Up here, I've got to put my piping tip storage and my mini cutter storage up here as well. But yeah, and then I've got some new camera equipment that I used my YouTube money for to be able to video better. So that has got to be put up here in two different locations. I got three, uh, three cameras. Anyway, so there's that. And then this is my bakery cart. And it is right next to my cookie decorating area. And it is also right next to this. Y'all ignore my floor, it's horrid. So this door leads into my catering kitchen. Y'all, I'm telling you, everything is, is out of whack. Um, we're not cooking in here right now. Everything will be cleaned and sanitized before I start cooking again. So I don't want to hear it. Anyway, this is my baking area. And then right over there is my catering kitchen. So I will be making here, making cookie dough here and icing, rolling on the island, baking, and then I will bring them in here to cool. So all of this stuff, these shelving units, we try not to make you dizzy, are gonna fit right there. Anyway. Okay, let me get to work and I will show you some progress pictures or some video and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I'm done for the most part, but I've got to get in here and make cookies for Valentine's and for a political event. So I am going to show you the almost finished product the bones are there, things are put up. I'm sure I'm gonna be adding things on the wall, stuff like that. But for the most part, it is done. I might have to like micro organize a few things, but other than that, we're good to go. Let me show you how it turned out. Okay, this looks like a hot, hot mess. And it is, but it is an organized hot mess. I don't know where everything is. So this, used to be my cookie station. Now it is 100% storage. So my kitchen aids and my bakery rack, everything is right here. So everything that to do with baking and sweets is stored in here. So all of my cocoa bomb stuff, my cake levelers, my fondant, my chocolate, that's already melted and in uh, squeeze bottles, my silicone molds, my plastic molds, and then all of my bakery, my cake boxes, my cookie boxes, 
things like that. My cake pans are all up here. I did pare those down. I got rid of a bunch of shaped cake pans that I really haven't used in many, many years. Um, my frost forms and my pedestals, my turntables, things that I use to cut my cakes, to get them even on all sides, things to cover my cake boards, packaging, all of that is on here. Let me show you a little trick that I use, if, see if I can get back far enough. These are bungee cords. And I just went from here up, over, and down. And these are keeping my cake pans, all of my circles. Instead of having them stacked up, I would never have been able to fit all this sitting flat. But now that they're on their side and separated on all my rectangles, circles, and my squares, they fit perfectly on here. This is a little bit of overflow of containers, decor, and these are some of the things that I've made and I've put up for sale, and a little bit of overflow on my um, florals that I don't have room for. Y'all ignore the big hole in the wall. Um, my mini splits are working fantastic. My light is still up here because I haven't had a chance to move it. Um, up top is some more decor. And then this is empty containers, but I have all of my cocoa bomb making things here. I have uh, all my chocolates, all the stuff that I put inside. Up top, I have pie pans and things like that. Some of the actual uh, mini marshmallows and the actual cocoa things like that. And then over here, I have two of my carts and these are specific to events. So this one right here is for a cookie decorating class. So everything I need for cookie decorating is going to go in there. Um, I still have a couple of bags down here that um, I need to separate out and organize in there. And this back one is for my charcuterie. If you're coming to camp, you will see all of that very soon. And then this table, y'all, I still have to put up all of that stuff. But I have put dehydrators over here so we can actually use those for food and not cookies. I had both of these in my cookie station. Um, the plastic kind of bows in the middle. So I actually purchased one that has metal um, shelves in it, metal trays so I can use those. Anyway, I do have some leftover, you know, construction stuff in here. All of my extra things for shelves and stuff like that is in there. And I have this dresser full of paperwork and a couple of tubs up here. And all of this is for camp. <laughs> That's all for camp. We're not gonna get into that. So now I'm going to show you my cookie room. I went from having a cookie station to a cookie room and I am loving it. Y'all ignore the floor. Um, I have sweat, but it's been raining, so I'm not gonna mop until I, uh, the rain is over. I do have my Eddie set up here, my laptop that is specific to Eddie. I purchased that just to control him because he has um, he's very needy. Anyway, my cookie cutter walls. Let me come in and step back just a touch. This was fun to organize. I was being um, sarcastic with that, y'all. But I did use my most used, I did put my most used basic shapes down here. These are all... 3D printed and they're they have specific stencils with them. And then everything else is by event or holiday or theme. So I have all my paw prints and dog bones and things like that. There's cheer, there's more paw prints. Uh, and then I have school themes. There's my apples. And then I have dinosaurs. And then 
uh, what are those? Elephants. It's just by theme and by holiday. So Valentine and then Easter and then baby down here. And then we have wedding and alcohol related things. And then we have Halloween and all of this like from here over is Christmas. <laughs> I love me some Christmas cutters. And these are some cutters that I got that I have not unpacked. And I'm just going to leave them be until I get ready to use them. Um, this is all of my Eddie supplies and my edible printer stuff. I have a printer that actually prints on wafer paper. And then I have Eddie that prints on the actual sweet things. So cookies, macarons, things like that. I have different trays and things that go with Eddie. And yeah, my Clorox wipes to clean up. And then... That is my printer. I'm trying to stay away as much as possible from actually printing stuff on the wafer paper and things like that because it's just so much easier to print it directly from him. Um, these are flavoring oils and flavoring powders. These are some of my tools for cakes, things like that. My extra containers for my icing with the lid separated over there. These are all, what do we have here? Oh, that's empty. That's almost empty. Y'all, I have room. Silicone molds. Stuff like that. Plunge cutters. So you basically cut it into the cookie dough. And then you push it down and it imprints that on there. I don't use these very often. Um, I use them more for fondant than I do for cookies. More plunge cutters. I mean, there, there's everything in here. And then more silicone molds. These are for royal icing transfers where you can pipe over the design in royal icing and it sets up hard and my cookie countess stencil book right there press and seal i love press and seal i use that on all my stuff these are some other silicone molds some specialty stuff this is um to make hard candy and this is a royal icing transfer these things last forever. These I bought because they were on clearance. Gum paste, things like that. My edible paint palette. My edible chalks. What else do I have? I don't even remember. More royal icing transfers up there and some other cookie cutters. And then my sweet sugar bell stencils that actually match cutters that I have in drawers down below. And then right inside my door where nothing else would fit is my, um, my sprinkle collection. And I call it a collection because there's a ton. <sighs> and then there are more right here. <laughs> I ended up, these are like black sprinkles and y'all these things last forever as well. Um, I use black mixed in with a lot of different colors a lot of the times. So they will, um, those were on clearance. They ended up costing me about 10 cents for a bag. So yeah, I bought a bunch. Gumballs, rock candy. What are those things called? Gum, gum drops? Yeah, stuff like that. Anyway, now this is my station. <coughs> this is where I'm actually doing the work. That is my new dehydrator with the metal trays. And I have it going right now to kind of, uh, it's, I, I need it to run for a little while to get the new smell out of it before I put anything in it. These have all been cleaned, but I actually have 10 trays in here, I think. Yep, 10 trays and they're metal, so they're not going to sink down in the middle like the plastic ones do. 
Anyway, it takes up a little more space. The door opens this way. I had my other one right here, um, but with the way that the door is opening, I had to move it over there. All right, more of my, my gold and silver and rose gold and pearl white. These are all edible paints and glitters, edible glue, a lot of my, um, y'all, why am I drawing a blank? These are uh, couplers for my piping bags. More edible glitter and things. Some of this stuff are things that I've created. All of this is edible. My edible markers, more shimmer powders, paint. These are off-brand piping tips that are still usable, but they're not like the Ateco or the Wilton brand, so they don't have a place on my piping tip storage. And just some empty containers, droppers, things like that. These are actual stencils that I created myself using um, the Dollar Tree cutting boards. They are food safe, so they're good to go, and there's more up there. Uh, yeah, I have vodka here to thin out my paint, and that is water. All of my tools, one of my Mevo cameras, that stand and that camera is portable. It can go into my craft room or in here, wherever I'm filming. And each area, either the craft room or the cookie room, will have their own mounted Mevo for overhead shots. Um, this right here, big old hot mess, but I needed my plugs to be accessible up here because of all the lighting. I do have some under uh, shelf lighting in here. Doesn't look fantastic, but it gets the job done. These are my mini cutters, and these I will use to, you know, make a stencil on a cookie um, if I need that area to not be flooded. Eventually, I'll show you how to do that whenever I get to a cookie that I need to do it on. Uh, or they can be used for mini cookies. And this is my storage for my piping tips. They have, they are all numbered. Y'all saw this in my last tour. They're all numbered and each cutter has a place to go, each cutter. Each tip has a place to go. So there's a lot of tips that I have multiples of. So they are on there. Let's go down. I have my, this is where I'm actually working. So if you're watching, um, the overhead shot is gonna be right here on the pink. This is where I keep my, um, my piping bags and my tools and things like that on a paper towel to keep it from being messy. Trash is down here. That is actually made for jewelry making, but it's fantastic to do my sprinkles in. Um, it catches and then I can pour it right back into my container. And then I just have extra pegboard things down here. And then I have my uh, stencil genie and my stencil genie screen for my airbrush. And what do we have in here? A bunch of cutters. These are all of my piping bags. And these are all different types of cutters for fondant. Down here are my Sweet Sugar Bell cookie cutters that match that Sweet Sugar Bell box of stencils up top. And what do we have here? That's my airbrush and all my airbrush colors. Over here, these are mostly, this is all of my small, uh, Food coloring. These are just some containers with extra royal icing, and I keep some up here too. These are the ones that I just recently made. That one, that drawer, I've got to pull that out because it, one of them overflowed in here, so I need to pull this out and clean it. Um, stencils. This puts marks on fondant. There's all kinds of different stencils in here. And then these are stamps. 
which I have purchased these and I have never used these on cookies or cakes. So I think I need to get rid of them. Yeah, free that up. And I have my um, projector up top. If I just need to write like a couple of names, I can project that down on the cookie and um, get them all exactly the same. And then I have this whole this whole shelf up here that's empty. I have tons of wall space, um, tons of wall space that I can use for small shelves, thin shelves to store small things. But I thought that this area was the absolute best place to store things. Let me show you. I'm gonna step out the door. This is right when I come in my building. This is my front door. And as you can imagine, well, dirt gets all over the floor in here, but coming in here and dropping stuff, that is how it used to be. And it is not that way any longer because this place has a purpose and I love it. I have room to grow. Okay, y'all, that is it. I now officially have a cookie room. Things are where they need to be. I have more storage over here that cannot be a drop zone. Um, this room cannot be a drop zone. I am slowly but surely living in my space and figuring out what works and what doesn't. That's gonna transfer over to your craft rooms too. My kitchen in here, my pantry, um, even as, as far as the over sink draining situation for my pots and pans and all my dishes out here in the catering kitchen. Cause you really, you're not supposed to dry your dishes with a towel. They're supposed to air dry and they need to have a place to air dry. Um, so even as far as that, what is working? What isn't? It's been five years since we built this. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe going on six. Yeah. And you live in it and it changes and evolves until it finally works for what you're doing. Um, my house I've been in for 24 years. And it's never worked for what I needed it to. And now it's finally getting to the point where it is. Y'all, don't be afraid to change up your spaces. Don't be afraid to organize, to move areas around where possible. Make it work for you. If it's not working for you, it's working against you and it's making your job harder. Anyway, I have two cookie orders that I have to get done. It is Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> I don't care about football but we got some good food going in there. So I'm gonna go and work on my cookie orders, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. If you don't haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload or that I go live. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.